for this. I can see films for free at any of its cinemas nationwide. Also, live theater. Easy made that throughout the year I have seen at least 150 films, everything from Hollywood blockbuster La La Land, the ridiculous death of Stalin through the outrageously witty The Party and Kenny, a tender documentary about Kenny Dalglish, manager of Liverpool Football Club at the time of the Hillsborough disaster. A football ground that Kenny has never been able to return to following what he saw on that awful day in April 1989, when 96 innocent lives were lost. Followed by Mountain, a documentary by Jennifer Keenum about the sustained beauty of the planet's mountain ranges, despite man's best efforts to destroy them. Sadly, I failed to invest £100 in Bitcoin in January this year, a decision that would have turned my investment into £1,370. After repeated persuasion by colleague Laura Shannon, I finally signed up to the company's cashback program that allows employees to get money back from everyday purchases at numerous retailers. This year I started building three small savings pods. Though they will not make my family rich, we all get a bit extra money for little effort. I opened a regular savings account with Santander Bank paying an inflation busting and market leading 5%. Saving a maximum each month means £64 interest after one year. Not a life changing sum, but a decent return for all of five minutes' work.
This small device acts like a backseat driver by keeping a sharp eye on what you get up to behind the wheel. Annual motor insurance is still an eye-watering 991 pounds with Hastings Direct Smart Miles as I share the car with an 18-year-old daughter, but the insurance industry is a racket that is hard to beat. Step out of line and a sharp rebuke is waiting for me when I check my motoring details on my smartphone and if I keep driving badly, Hastings will stop insuring me. Joe Thornhill, I bagged a cheap mortgage before rates went up. Consider myself an unlucky person, so I am quite pleased I managed to switch my mortgage deal to a great low rate just weeks before the Bank of England decided to raise interest rates in November. The money came from an individual savings account that I had set up specifically for the purpose. They are fixed which means I do not have to worry about whether the bank rate jumps up again. But I still have a mortgage, a debt I would rather not have got I wish I could have paid it all off. My objective is that in two years' time, the family home will be mortgage free. Memo to sell, get saving ASAP. Gym membership is a luxury in the part of London, where I work. But since my health and fitness is a priority, I signed up a year ago with Virgin Active. It all went swimmingly, so to speak, as I only wanted to use the pool for the first few months. By month 9 my visits plummeted, and in the last two months I did not attend at all. I cancelled my membership. This might be considered an easy money-saving tactic as I am now more than 100 pounds a month better off.
I will not get back the difference in price for the months already spent using the overpriced pass. This comes at a personal cost of £166. I blame a confusing ticket buying system and too little time to spend working it all out. An attempt to clear out my old stereo equipment that fired spectacularly got me stay. It introduced me to an expensive new addiction to top quality hi fi. It started when an old Arkham compact disc player broke down, and I sold it on auction website eBay for £200. This felt like money I just had to spend on a replacement, a second-hand lane CD player. As soon as a disc was played I heard a higher quality of music never enjoyed before. A previously beloved project turntable was made redundant. This is where the fever set in, 